for miles around. They've been pouring into the Docklands since early this morning. Busload after busload, more than 100,000 Jean-Michel Jarre vans queuing, braving the uncertainty of the event itself and the drizzle. The lucky ones were led to their open-air seats. Others had to wait as last-minute safety maintenance went ahead. The local council had threatened to stop the concert this morning unless everything was in order by tonight. With less than an hour to go, builders were still working. So, were the ticket touts? Sue's got spare tickets. Can I ask you um, yes. why you're selling tickets? Yes, to make a living. How much are you selling them for? 50 pounds each. How much did you buy them for? 10 pounds. He'd netted 2,000 pounds in an afternoon. The fans couldn't wait. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Amazing. They've come all the way from Belgium. Yeah. To see this with my own eyes, uh, it's where they took come from Antwerp. And this is what they were waiting for. Jean-Michel Jarre conducting his musicians for a visual extravaganza that could be seen for miles. Fireworks exploding above him in the sky. So after months of uncertainty, Jean-Michel Jarre is finally performing. In the dots behind me, somewhere on the world's largest floating stage, is the man himself, finally lighting up the London skyline with his show. Penny Marshall, ITN, in the London Docklands. And that's the way it looks so far this evening. ITN has news throughout the night on IT throughout the night on ITV. And tomorrow we're back with a new lunchtime bulletin. That's at one o'clock.